everybody welcome back to my channel hope everybody's having a great day today hope everything's going away today today i'm coming to you with a first impression yes today i'm gonna be doing a first impression swatches and demo of the barbie collection by pure cosmetics yes the pure x barbie collection so, if you want to see how I got this look. And hear my take on this here collection. Then just keep on watching. See ya. Okay, everybody. Let's get started with this look. Okay, guys. So, yeah. For those of you who watch my Pac-Man collection video, you already know that I love anything nostalgic and anything that takes me back down memory lane back to the days when we didn't have to worry about working or paying bills or being politically correct we didn't have to worry about buying our own clothes or our own groceries to yeah, account calories well maybe not count calories cause yeah, I don't do that now the days when some of us look forward to Christmas Day and what Santa was gonna put on our Christmas tree. And no matter how good or bad I was during the year, I always managed to dodge the infamous call in my stocking. And no matter what, guys, I was guaranteed to have at least two Barbies waiting for me underneath the Christmas tree. And although some can most definitely argue that the Barbie of old had quite the air of improvement to foster body positivity and loving the skin you're in. The Barbie of here and now has most definitely made improvements in that area and striving to send the message that each and every one of us are beautiful. They've got Barbies now that are a variety of different skin tones, shapes, and sizes. They've even got Barbies now with professions other than stewardess and secretaries. Uh, They've even got Barbies of a variety of different ages. So needless to say, guys, when they came out with the collection, your girl just had to get it. The collection comes with the Endless Possibility Signature 12-Piece Press Pigment Palette, the Dream Glow Signature Highlighter Palette, the Girl Glow Signature High Shine Lip Gloss, four Iconic Lip Signature Semi-Matte Lipsticks, for which I have three, Forever Flawless Signature Complexion Brush. The collection also comes with lashes, which I didn't elect to buy because your, your girl's already overrun with lashes. First, let's talk about the palette. The packaging is really cute. It has Pure X Barbie and a bunch of pink goodness on the front of the palette. It's got pink, white, gold, and silver embellishment on the front. And the outside of the palette is so stinky cute. And on the back, you'll find the symbols letting you know the palette is cruelty free, gluten free, vegan friendly, yeah, fragrance free as well. And the palette also has a 12 month shelf life. The palette has a full size mirror. And when you open her up, guys, here are the colors. Would you look at them? Would you look at them? It appears to have three mattes, one pressed glitter, and the rest are all either shimmers, foils, or satins. And when you look at the shades and the aesthetic of the color story of the palette, this screams Barbie all the way. And aside from the 39S palette from Morphe, this palette is about as glam as it's going to get. And I really don't know what kind of look I'm going for with the palette. But one thing's for sure and two things for sorry. Yeah. I will most definitely be using that pink. And I will most definitely be using that blue. So I'm about to go ahead and base my eyes with my fancy concealer. And show you guys swatches while your girl figures it out. Oh, 
Okay, guys, I think your girl Lily here finally has it figured out. First, I'm going in with this pretty pink shade. And the shades don't have names. Luda. No, they don't. And I'm going to work that in my crease. Okay, guys, this pink shade is kind of powdery. But it's also quite pigmented. Guys, so far, this shade is going on quite well. And I have yet to see patchiness. Zero patchiness at all. This pink matte shade, it feels a little airy. And it feels a little powdery. But even with the consistency of the shadow, the pigmentation and performance doesn't suffer at all. And I'm taking this kind of high, guys, because with the choice of mattes in the palette, I feel like I'm going to end up using this mostly as my transition shade as well and just blending it out. Okay, guys, so far so good. So far so good. Now I'm going in with this camel shade here. I'm just going to use that to blend out the pink shade. Oh, guys, this shade is powdery, too. Um. Hmm. Nope, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, guys, I had to abort that mission because this shade is a little too dark to be considered a transition shade. So going in with a light hand, I'm going to take a little bit more of that pink shade. And I'm going to try and blend it out a little bit. Okay, guys, this is working pretty well as a blend out shade for itself. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do a little more blending to get rid of that harsh pink line. But guys, I must admit, I love the performance of this shadow so far. Okay, guys, well, I do understand that this is quite a lot of pink with the selection of mattes in this palette. That's as good as it's going to get. Not the part that everybody came here for. The lid. And because of the appearance of the texture of some of these shades... I'm going to go ahead and clean up my lid with my lid glitter base. First, going in with this pressed glitter here, because I'm nuts, I'm going to put that on the end of third of my lid. Oh, guys. This is a pretty glitter. So pretty that I don't believe I'm risking my eyesight to apply it. But this is most definitely beyond the shadow of a doubt. Such a pretty glitter. And now going in with this pretty blue shade. I'm going to put that on the middle part of my lid. And because of the texture of the shadow, I'm going to wet my brush. Guys, while the blue is a pretty shade, it's definitely one of the dry satins that I've ever used in my life. But it's still cool. And now I'm going in with this pretty purple shade. I'm going to put that on the outer part of my lid. Okay, guys, so far, so good. I'm about to go ahead, do the other eye off camera, pop on my complexion right quick. Yeah. We'll be back to finish up these eyes, though. 
Okay, everybody, I went on ahead, popped on my lashes, did my complexion off camera. Everything I use will be listed down in the description box. But let's finish up these eyes, though. Guys, I'm gonna keep the lower lash line super simple. First, I'm going in with this very deep purpley shade here. And I'm just gonna put that underneath my lower lash line. Lastly, going in with this iridescent pinky shade, I'm gonna pop that in my inner lower lash line. Oh yeah, that is cool. That is cool, 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 cool. And lastly, going in with this pretty world purple shade, I'm gonna put that in between the iridescent pink shade and the dark, dark purple shade. I'm a lower lash line. Okay, guys, now I'm gonna just go ahead and sweep away the fallout. Which it wasn't much, not with the mattes as much as it is the shimmers. Okay, guys, now on the highlight, we are going in with this Pure X Barbie highlighter palette and guys the outside of this palette is so stinking cute it looks exactly like the outside of the pressed pigment palette and the highlighter palette also has a full-size mirror when you open her up guys here are the colors would you look at them would you look at them would you look at them? It has three shades. It has a nice ice pinky shade. It has a nice peachy shade. And it has what it seems to be a pure gold. You know what this gold actually reminds me of? It actually reminds me of Rodale Drive by Oprah. But enough of all the yapping. Let's get into this highlight though. Oh, pretty. So I think for my look today, I'm going to actually go on with the true gold shirt. Now let's see what it do, what it do, what it do. Yowie. Hmm. Hmm. Guys. This is a pretty subtle. This is a pretty subtle highlight. I mean, it's there, but just barely. What I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is apply some satin spray to my face. Let's see what it do, what it do, what it do. Okay, guys. That's better. Okay. It's a nice, subtle highlight. And just for kicks, I'm going to go ahead and mix these two shades together. And I'm going to see if it's any more beaming. Oh, oh, guys. Woo, woo. Yes, guys. Yes, yes. It's a highlight. I'm gonna apply a little bit of that to my nose. And my cupid's bow. Pop a little bit on my brow bone. And I feel like I just want to pop a teeny bit in my inner corner. Okay, guys. This highlighter palette is most definitely Lily approved. Now on the lips. The collection actually comes with four lipsticks. And I got three of them. 
And can we just give it up for the packaging of this lipstick? Guys, this packaging is so stinking cool. It's actually an ombre glitter that goes from peach to silver. And to open up the lipstick, you actually press the lever from the top. And here's your lipstick. Now the first shade I'm going to swatch for you is Timeless. And guys, would you look at the wow factor of this lipstick? On the outside, it has fine glitters. Guys, Pure is killing it with the aesthetic of this collection. Now, Timeless is more of a rosy pink shade. Guys, I really like this pink. It's not too drying. But what I will say about this lipstick so far is it does accentuate my fine lines, but that's just something that comes with old age. So what can you expect? What can you expect? This is timeless. The next shade I'm going to swatch for you is Classic. This is Classic. Classic is more of a pinky nude shade. Oh, guys, yes. I love this shade. It's definitely like a muted mom. I can see this being a very nice shade to wear in the fall. Or times when you have a very busy eye look and don't want to do so much with your lips, but yeah. This is classic. And the last and final shade of lipstick I got is Legendary. Guys, I just can't get over the presentation of this collection. Now this is Legendary. This is most definitely, absolutely, and truly a Barbie pink. Mmm. Guys. Do you see the realness of that paint? I know you see it. I know you see it. I know you do. Guys, when you think of Barbie pink, this is exactly the pink you think about. Mmm. I love this shade. It's not too bright, not too muted. This would go nice with a very classic eye. Maybe put a little bit of smoky brown in the crease and a wing liner. Pop on this lipstick and you are good to go. Yes, guys, yes, yes. There's no more to say about this lipstick because what's understood don't need to be explained. This is legendary. Okay, guys, I went on ahead and lined my lips. And for the sake of the video today, yeah, I'm rocking classy. Okay, guys, finally, it's time for the last lip product in the collection, the lip gloss. I'm going in with the girl gloss. And guys, I love this packaging. There are some people who say they think this container is too large. But honestly, guys, it's not much bigger than a 50 gloss bomb. I like it. It's like a nice iridescent peachy cream shade. It has a nice thick consistency. And though the glitters are quite subtle... They are most definitely there. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this over classic. And some people say they don't like this applicator, but it's almost the same kind of applicator as the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Guys, this lip gloss is a very nice consistency. 
And I love the amount of shine that it gives to my lips. Ooh, yes, guys. Yes, yes. And guys, I'm just going to show you what the Flawless Complexion Brush looks like. Cause uh, I didn't have the heart to use it. It comes with a white handle that has Pure X Barbie, written in pink, on the handle. The bristles of the brush have Barbie symbol. And yes, it's so stinking soft. And the rest of the brush is in nice rose gold detailing. So yeah, as far as me ever using this brush, Okay, guys, I'm about to go ahead and set my face one more time now. Yeah. I'll be back with my final thoughts. Okay, everybody, now that the demo is done, here are my thoughts on the collection. First, let's start with the Pure X Barbie palette. Guys, does the color story get any more aesthetically pleasing than this? No, not really. No, not really. Not really. The color choices and textures that Pure decided to put in this palette are nothing short of genius. Nothing short of genius. This palette has everything you need for a nice smoky look, a nice bright look, and even a neutral look, guys. When it came to the only matte I used, which was the pink, and in fact, a pressed pigment, I had no trouble at all, guys. It blended seamlessly. There was zero patchiness. And even though I had to shear out the shade to create a transition, I had absolutely no trouble and it looked like two shades on my lid. And although the mats in the palette come across powdery and you do get a little kick up in the pan, I actually had zero fallout from my lid with the mats. And as for the specialty shades I use in this palette, they happen to need a little bit more TLC than the matte. Of course, with the pressed glitter in the palette, you most definitely need to use a glitter glue. Because as you see, I did use a glitter glue, and I still got a little bit of glitter fallout. So while I can see somebody trying to use the glitters without a glitter glue, yeah, I can't see it turning out too good for them. And when using this pinky iridescent shade, I found that I also needed to use a glitter glue. Because this shade also has fine glitters. And it's quite tightly pressed, guys. And I did try at first to initially just wet my brush. Didn't work. But when I went under my lower lash line with glitter glue, it all worked out. So I would say when using these two shades right here, you most definitely want to use a glitter glue. Now, what can I say about the satins? The satins in this palette are not the worst satins I've ever used, but they're not the best I've ever used. When using the purple shade and the blue shade, even when wetting my brush, I found that the sides were a little crumbly, guys. And I feel like if I would've tried to use a glitter glue to apply the shades, they would've come out a little pasty. But still, I did get the desired look I wanted, but just know that when you use the sides in this palette, you're most definitely gonna need to wet your brush. Using a dry brush here, guys, is not an option. But if you don't mind using a little TLC when you're creating your eye look, this is definitely a nice palette, and it most definitely can turn out some very nice eye looks. Now about the Barbie Pure Highlighter Palette. What more I need to say? What more I need to say? What more do I need to say? I love, 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 love this palette, guys. When using the gold shade in the palette, it actually gave me a nice, subtle highlight, which is what I think Pure meant to do when they created this highlighter shade. But now, this peachy shade and this pinky shade, they are quite a different story. When using those shades, I felt like I was using an Ofra highlight. 
It was nice and beamy, wasn't pasty at all, and it blended into my skin rather well. So I would absolutely say, if you're going to pick up anything from this collection, make sure it's the highlighter palette. And lastly, guys, as far as the girl gloss and Iconic Lips lipsticks, the lipsticks are nice and opaque and don't need much building up. And although the lipsticks are semi-matte, they're quite comfortable and not too drying. And the packaging is so stinking cute. If there were any areas of opportunity I would say the lipstick has, is that it most definitely does settle into your fine lines. And as far as the formula of the lipstick inside the bullet, you want to be quite careful, guys, because yeah. I didn't even roll my lipstick all the way up. And guys, if you roll it up too high, it's going to move. It's going to fall out. And I actually found that that happened with all three lipsticks. And it also happened on Tati's video. But other than that, guys, I do quite enjoy the formula. And I definitely enjoy the shades, especially that pink shade, Legendary. So I can definitely see me use these lipsticks quite a bit. So uh, these are a go for me. And lastly, guys, as far as the girl gloss goes, it's quite a nice lip gloss. Nothing groundbreaking or anything we haven't seen or used before, but yeah. It's a nice lip gloss. It's a nice lip gloss indeed. It gives your lips just the right amount of shine without being too gloopy. But I thought when applying it over my lipstick, I would see more of the glitters. But the glitters are quite faint when you put it over a lipstick. So unless you're a collector and love Barbie, and pretty things. You could totally skip out on the gloss. So, yeah. And even though I definitely don't need gloss, I do love Barbie and I'm a collect and like pretty things. So yeah. this is a go for me. So there you have it guys. Up close and personal, honest and unfiltered. You can actually purchase the Barbie collection items on Pure's website and also on Alta's website and in store. And I'm definitely glad I bought most items in the collection because yeah, they are so stinky cute. So I really want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while I tried out the Barbie collection. Yeah, I always love connecting with you guys, my peeps. Every chance I get. Every chance I get. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It only gives great a letter, guys. It only gets great a letter. So until next time, guys, stay real, stay positive, stay up, and damn it, you better watch, fight, and pray. Slow mo's, please. Hello.